Hey guys, welcome back to day 31 or just a bonus day. Um, and this is going to be yin and yang together. So let's hop on our mats and get started. So for this practice, you may want a blanket for padding for your knees. You may want a block, um, but those are just optional and you don't have to have those props. Um, you may also want to sit on a blanket if you would like to tilt your pelvis so that you can fold forward easier on the forward folds. And we're going to start with that. So come on to your blanket if you want to use one. And we're going to start in this half dragonfly or half butterfly, however you want to call it. Um, and then you may want to block to rest your elbow on here when we fold forward. So we'll sit up tall. And before we start, let's just uh, close our eyes or close the eyes halfway or take a soft gaze and just start to notice your breath. And try to make the breath five seconds, maybe six seconds on the inhale and the same amount of time on the exhale. We'll start off with this left leg straight out and the right leg bent in and take the right arm overhead and you can rest that left elbow onto that block on the inside or the outside of that left leg. You can just reach over for those toes. Maybe you can take the elbow to the inside of the leg and, and reach further. Maybe drop that top arm on your head or you can even hold your head up with your hand here taking your elbow to your thigh or to a block. Looking for a side body stretch here on the right. Take a deep breath in, kind of open the chest up to the sky. Deep breath out. Two more like that. And then you can come back up, turn the chest toward that left knee and fold over that leg, reaching for those toes. Maybe you can grab it, maybe you can't. And then round the spine if it doesn't bother your back. Tuck the chin to the chest. And then come up and you'll take your right hand behind you, resting your weight on that hand. Lift the hips up and take the left arm overhead and you're just taking a little back bend here, reaching back behind you with that left arm and pressing the hips forward. You can look up and breathe. And come back down and we'll switch to the other side. So take your block over if you want to. This time take the left arm overhead, reaching for those toes, or flop that arm on your head, maybe rest your head in your hand, and take some deep breaths here. And you can sit up, 
turn the chest toward that right knee this time. Fold over the right knee now, looking for a sensation in the back of the leg. Round forward, tucking the chin to the chest or keep the spine straight. And breathe. And rise up. And take that left hand behind you. Lift the hips up so you're coming up onto that left knee. Right arm in the air, maybe going behind you, arching your back. Press the hips forward. Look up. And then we'll swing our arm down and come to tabletop, hands and knees. And we'll take some cat cows. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, squeeze the shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And from here, we'll stand up on your knees Arms go overhead, palms together. Look at your hands, press your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. And on your exhale, come down to child's pose. Inhale for cat, or sorry, for cow. Arch the back, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And drop down to your knees. Inhale, arms up to the sky, squeeze the back body, look up, press the hands together. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop the knees down one more time. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale for cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. This time we're going to come up onto the toes and then send the heels back toward the earth. And back up onto the toes. And send the heels back. One more time, onto the toes. This time we're gonna roll our body like a wave forward, coming into a plank. If you need to adjust your hands or feet, go for it. And cinch your drawstring on your pants here. Cinch your waist together, hugging in your core. Press the mat away from you. Send the heels toward the back edge of the mat to activate the legs. And we'll lower down, elbows back, all the way to our belly. Untuck the toes and peel the chest up off the ground. Squeeze the glutes, press the tops of the feet into the mat, elbows back, lift the chest, baby cobra. You can try to lift the hands even. And lower down one ear to the mat. Again, lift up. Exhale, lower down. One more lift up. This time, if you want to grab your block, you can come up into Sphinx pose, elbows somewhat underneath your shoulders or a little bit more out in front of your shoulders if you need less sensation. You have a block possibly to rest your forehead on if you'd like. We're just gonna relax here in Sphinx. This time we're gonna relax our glutes, relax the lower back, the back of your legs, just let gravity do the work here.
And you can get into the hips a little bit here and take that left leg out to the side for a half frog and half sphinx. If it hurts your knee at all, you can put a blanket under that left knee. And straighten that left leg down your mat. We'll take the right knee out to the side. Still relaxing the glutes, relaxing the hips. Soften the back body. For the remainder of this pose, if you'd like to bring the head up and just take one ear to one shoulder, go ahead and straighten that right leg down the mat, then take the other ear to the other shoulder. And take some head circles slowly. Reverse the circles. And come down to your belly, crossing the hands at the top of the mat. Rest your forehead down on those hands. You can bend the knees and windshield wiper the knees side to side, or the feet side to side. And then press yourself back into child's pose, knees together this time if you can, and rest down. You could make fists and rest your forehead down on your fists, or just take a traditional child's pose with the arms behind you or in front of you. And then come on down to your back. Take your heels up to the sky for waterfall or seagrass. If you want to place a block underneath your sacrum, you can lift the hips, slide that block underneath there, and then send the heels up to the sky. You can also put a blanket or a cushion under you if that's easier. And you're just going to be right there on the edge of the block. Just taking a gentle inversion, getting all the energy down to your thyroid gland. You can even take your chin, tuck it to your chest, just to add a little pressure there, bringing the energy to that area. And relax the abdomen. And you'll slowly bring those feet down. 
lift the hips, slide that block out from under you. And you can prepare for your final resting pose on your back, Savasana. Stay here for three to five minutes, but for the sake of time, we'll have to end here. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And if you feel that these videos have really helped you and you feel like you're able to donate, um, I would really appreciate it. It's okay if you can't do it. I just want you to keep practicing. So if you are able to donate and send me any love that way, um, I will leave the link in the description of the video. If you're not able to, you can still help me out by subscribing to this channel and sending it to anybody that you think would love it. And I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos to come and I can't wait to keep practicing with you. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.